So now let's see how we can work around with opacity for objects inside of a design file. So to work around with opacity, I'm going to go around and bring in some shapes. So I'm going to click on shape right here and bring in an ellipse tool right here, as you can see. I'm just going to go around and change the color of this shape right here. And then I'm going to go around and bring in another shape over here as well. And if I were to go around and select out another color, this is what I have as well. You can go around right here, click and drag around another shape as well and bring in another color right here. But what you see here is the layers right here, as you can see, and then uh, the red one, the red circle is at the bottom, as you can see, and then the rectangle, the blue rectangle is at the top. If you want to change around the layers um, so that the red circle is on the top, then you can right click over here and you can click on bring to front. So this comes to the front, as you can see right here. And over here, you can see ellipse is the tool that is on the front for frame one. You can click and drag this to the bottom, click and drag this to the top right here, as you can see, and that is how it works out. You can go around, change the location according to uh, the layers that is listed right here. You can bring the ellipse down right here. You can bring the ellipse to the front or uh, bring the rectangle down. And according to this order, everything is arranged out here. So besides that, you can also work around with opacity of layers. So over here, you can see that this is the layer. So if I were to go around onto the fill color, uh, besides the color selection option, you can see that the layer uh, opacity option is here as well. You can decrease out the opacity and this is what you have. You have this as well. So if I were to go around and decrease out the opacity, this is what you have as you can see. And now you can see through the layers uh, right here. Beneath, you can just go around and see through. That's the green um, rectangle right here. You can see through it as well as I decrease and increase out the opacity as you can see right here. Decrease out the opacity and everything is like that. You can increase out the opacity over here as well. So that is how you can work around with opacity inside of design file inside of Figma and then work around with layer order. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share and subscribe.